What I'm going to do today is cut out my second brace for the gin pole. <clears throat> I've got one brace cut out I did earlier today. That's one end of it. That's the footing right there with the tools on it. And the other end of the brace. This is the upper end of it. And what I'm going to do is try and show some layout. Had somebody request showing some layout. Ten foot brace. My timbers eleven foot two and a half. But I see right here at my 10 foot mark, I got some knots. So I'm going to scoot down about 6 or 8 inches down here where it looks better. Well, what I'm going to do now is lay out this end of the cant according to my drawing right here. And I'm going to zoom in on it. My first measurement is going to be this 4 and 3 sixteenths from this corner of the timber back this way. And let me point out that this corner is my reference face, but I'm going to take this measurement from here, the opposite because I am a full six inches. Now if it wasn't six inches what I would do is I would deduct four and three sixteenths from six inches and come up with one and thirteen sixteenths then I would take that measurement from this reference corner back this way. But being that I'm right on six inches I'm going to go ahead and pull that measurement from this way. <coughs> And once I get this line, this little tick mark here, then I'll draw this angle back that way. Then I'll draw this angle back this way. 25.2 degrees for this angle, 64.8 for this one. And then that would give me the starting point to lay out this joint. Now what I've done is set the camera up on the tripod so you can try and watch some of the layout here. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to pull first is my 25.2 degrees with the digital protractor. I've got it set and locked down at 25.2 degrees I need four and three sixteenths from this far corner, a little tick mark. One and thirteen sixteenths on this side. I'm going to 
reset my protractor to 64.8 degrees. 64.8, 25.2 equals the 90 degrees. 64.8, I'm right on it. I come to the corner of my tick mark. And this is the lower footing that will go the lower end of the brace that will go into the foot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off both of these little triangles. I don't know if you could see it through the camera or not, but what I tried to do was put the edge, the inside edge of my saw blade down the middle of the pencil mark. But I'll come back and, and shave it up and trim it up. Make sure I'm good there. Now what I'm going to do is lay out for my tenon. I have a two inch tenon in the center. So I'm going to lay out for it. This is my reference corner. Two inches and four inches. Now my tenon is three and three sixteenths of an inch. From this face back. So I'm gonna measure three and three sixteenths here at a 90 degree. and then draw my line across. Three and three sixteenths. Now I'm going to carry this line down to my tenon. This is waste to be cut out. Two inches, four inches. You got a good match on the end line. I'm going to come back with 
this square and carry this one down. And carry this one down to the bottom corner. Now I'm going to check myself from this line over here on the side of the timber to this one. And I'm just going to put a little tip mark here. Three little tick marks should be three and three sixteenths. I'm good, right on it. This end of this timber must be fairly square. This is rough cut six by six. So when you're dealing with the rough cut, it's rough cut. Now, I'm ready to get the small scale saw and cut the tenon out. <laughs> 